you will ask me samita what's wrong with you why are you wearing woolens to the beach trust me there are days when you need woolens at the beach you probably come to the beach on nice sunny days i live next to the beach i come here every day and on those wintry days cold and windy you need something warm you need something soft you need something kashmir join me today we talk kashmir what is kashmir kashmir is a type of wool that comes from the kashmir goat The Kashmir goat grazes in the Himalayan regions. Why Himalayan regions? Because the Kashmir goat requires a certain elevation and the combination of intense cold and intense heat to be able to produce the down on its underbelly and around the neck. The Kashmir wool is soft fine and lightweight and has exceptional warmth and insulating properties this wool has been produced in the himalayan region for thousands of years and is prized worldwide for its quality and luxurious feel Kashmir wool is hand combed from the underbelly and the neck region of the Kashmir goat mind you there is no shearing involved in the production of quality cashmere i know what your next question would be samita where can i buy cheap cashmere honestly you cannot i have a problem with cheap cashmere These days any monkey wearing a fringe scarf claims to be wearing cashmere. Those $20 cashmere scarves in fact have no cashmere at all. Most likely they are rayon or viscose or blended with polyester, nylon, acrylic. It's like blending champagne with water. These so-called cheap cashmere scarves will neither have the warmth nor the soft feel of original genuine cashmere they will start filling or develop holes soon after why is cashmere so expensive because the production process is time consuming it is labor intensive It takes several goats to get the yield for just one scarf. And then you have to sort it and weave it to retain highest quality. Cashmere is incredibly versatile. It can be worn from morning to evening, dressed down or dressed up. Even layered the casual look for a girl's day out a weekend brunch wear a cashmere pullover with culottes accessorize with some chain jewelry and perhaps a bali bag if you are the shop till you drop kind of a girl you may replace the bali bag with a large shopper bag the culottes and the kashmir pullover remain in place office wear kashmir pullover worn with a pencil or peg skirt black stockings paired with animal print boots here you go the high winter look for those cold soggy rainy days Layer your cashmere. In the morning 
as you set out for work wear a kadi over your kashmir pullover in the afternoon the kadi comes off then back again in the evening and finally it's time to let your hair down party time the pencil skirt is replaced with a four leather skirt worn with bodo boots and matching costume jewelry give your kashmir a little bit of tlc tender loving care and it will stay with you for years to come nothing strong no strong detergent no strong sun no strong bleach no rubbing wash it with neutral detergent or baby shampoo rinse and dry flat at room temperature you can iron at low temperature use a press cloth a word of caution never hang to dry your cashmere sweaters or for that matter any woolen sweater it will come out two sizes large is cashmere the final word in wool is there anything better than cashmere there is baby cashmere baby cashmere is rare it's more expensive but it is also softer warmer and more durable than regular cashmere coming to the big question where do we find regular cashmere or baby cashmere that's genuine that's authentic and very importantly ticks all the boxes when it comes to sustainability my vote goes to EWSCA cashmere shop EWSCA sources cashmere from the grasslands of western area of inner mongolia this region yields no more than 50 tons of cashmere every year grazing is controlled so that the hooves of the goats do not uproot the grass and leave the entire region barren at EWSCA baby cashmere is collected from the neck region and the flakes of the kid goat average micron is 13 to 14 mm and average fiber 34 to 36 mm anything above 19 microns is not recognized as cashmere and longer fibers are preferable to the short ones short fibers are prone to pilling EWSCA sustains the Mongolian economy and provides livelihood to the local artisans and farmers Make a dash be quick and jump on to the EWSCA website as explained by its very nature baby cashmere is limited edition you still have more cashmere questions you know who to come to auntie samita and if you wish to see more videos like this stay tuned stay subscribed smash the like button spread the learn with samita buzz and do not forget to send us your wish list in the comments are you in love with shoes what a question who is it coming up next on learn with samita the shoe story not the zoo story till next time samita signing off bye for now